All right, what's up, guys? How's everyone doing tonight? Kind of nice Thursday night, hot summer night. You got the nice 2020 Gypsy Queen Mega Boxes or Monster Boxes, sorry. And with these, you get two exclusive silver parallels. What's up, Mike? Good luck in them pirates, man. That's what uh, I collect the pirates myself. I'm in the Pittsburgh area, actually. All right, so it says 10 packs plus two bonus silver packs. Six cards, seven, two. All right. All right, guys, let's get going. What's up, Stomer? You got Atlanta, huh? Cleveland. Tell you what, Stomer, you should have seen uh, the Gypsy Queen, the last Gypsy Queen I did. About two weeks ago, I pulled a, a Kuna patch auto on card auto number to 25. It's probably a $500 card. Man. All right, Brad, good luck. Yeah, it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. Been on a decent streak of getting pretty nice hits. Good luck, Logan. Cleveland there. Bobby Bradley autos, which you probably your best uh, card for Cleveland, right? Nick Solak and Colby Allard. Yeah, Texas is tough in the Gypsy Queen. I know in the Bowman they have there's a little more because of the prospects and stuff. But yeah, you're right. I think it's Solak and uh, Allard only. It's kind of weird, like the you know the, the new cards are coming out depending on the set. Like say, there's no Dominguez in these, but you know Bowman there is. I've seen like a 2019 Leaf variant. You can get a Dominguez. Just you have to really look at the checklists. So my last time I'm doing a Gypsy Queen, I think. Can't find any more boxes. Fair price, I should say. All right, guys. First box. Good. Zooch, Toronto, Collins, White Sox, our first tear to the diamond. Chris Bryant, the Cubbies. Brown for Oakland. Here's your killer. And our fortune teller is... Max Scherzer. Starling KC. Bradley. Are 
Lars Arena. I think that's how you say his name there for Tampa. All right. It's a good sign. There's no indigo, so it means we either got a logo swap coming up, no name, or potentially an auto. So let's see what we got. Oh, that is the wrong pile. Oh, there he is. No name for Oakland. Is Sean Murphy. Nice hit for Oakland there. And it's a rookie. It's a K for Toronto. Rodriguez for the Angels. And there's a Bergman. Tear to the diamond. Harper. And Dimes. Let's check for the Zucabacks. I actually did get one last break. Last two breaks, I think. All right, Silvers. We got a, a Rue. Very good. Was it Trout or nice bird there? There you go, Allen. Davis, Goldschmidt, and all right. So, guys, save on time here. So, these are the rookies and silvers. I will self sleeve all of them before I sort the cards out and do these silver rookies real quick. When we did a recap, because people like to see the rookies. No name. I like those no names. They're different. I don't know if it'll be a Mike, uh, an auto teller coming there. Mike B with the Gypsy Queen. Their colors will be forward. So if it was an auto, I wouldn't see it. It just would blend in. 
unless, of course, it's a patch auto, we, we would see it just sitting here, which you can tell there's nothing in. Unless, of course, it's a patch auto, we, we would see it just sitting here, which you can tell there's no patch auto in this. The auto is actually a pretty rare. I look this up every single time, but let me see here. Even that missing nameplate is one out of 30 packs that we got. Let's see here. Bazooka backs one out of 81. Indigo blue. Blue logo. Bazooka black. Jackie. Let's see. Ah, dude, you might have to realize I've I've uh, broken these boxes. I think this is the thirteenth time. So, anyways, one of these I'm pretty sure, just from memory, I couldn't find it real quick. But you get one per hundred and thirty pack or something like that. So we have we got ten per box here. We got fifty. So it's around. I think a 30% chance it will get an auto. But, like I said, the last time, I got a patch auto of Acuna out of 25. Doesn't mean that's what we'll get, but it does happen where you get some nice stuff. And I've also had breaks where I got two autos. You know, it's really, it's like playing the lottery. Who do you got, Mike? Collins, and then we got a Devers, Terry the Diamond, Boston, are you in the Kellers? These cards are going so cheap right now, man, if, you, if you're on eBay, check, uh, I mean, you're obviously on eBay, but look on eBay and like buy some cards, so I've been buying some nice cards. I actually sold a uh, Marte. I mean, I'm sorry. Marte Terry Diamond, but I sold a Keller, number to 25, tier one, gold signature. It went for $5.50. Like, it's crazy. Like, if I would have known it was going to go so low, I wouldn't have sold it. Oh, no, I agree. It's definitely more fun than the lottery. You can definitely get a monster. The best card I ever pulled was. Week and a half ago or so, it was a Bobby Witt Jr. one of twenty-five. The same exact card that was obviously not a number one sold for eleven eighty-three. I pulled number one of twenty-five. So you figure there's a K Toronto. That guy could probably get fifteen hundred dollars for that card. That's the best one I ever pulled. Nico Horner for the Cubs. Uh, they're not that expensive, man. I got if you look on mine, I got a Josh Bell um select. I think I only won twenty bucks for it, something like that. Brown for Oakland. I don't think that's that expensive. It's a patch auto too, actually. It's a nice card. I can't believe nobody snatched it up. It's been on there for like a month. I think the cards are baseball is gonna start selling a little bit more. It went stagnant there for about a month. When they were debating the money, people were sick of it, so they weren't really collecting that much. But it seems like it's heating back up because hopefully they're going to play. Anyways, Austin Meadows. Tampa Bay should be with the Pirates, but he's not. We got that another Rosarina Tampa. Oh, guys, check it out. There is a backwards card. So, this is going to be a Terry to the Diamond. Sometimes. Yeah, he is from Dallas. You're right, man, Brett. I remember that. 
They signed him. Uh, I don't know. You know his history, but the Pirates. He was actually committed to I think Tennessee or maybe, or maybe Texas. Maybe he was going to Texas U there. And then the Pirates drafted him anyways in the second round, and they actually changed the rule after this. They gave all the bonus money to him to keep him from going to college, and it worked. And then they changed the rules that you can only give a certain amount based off the bracket after the Pirates did it that year. So that's how they ended up with Josh Bell. Anyways, tear the diamond backwards cord. I know you still care about Josh Bell most teams. But they are usually – sometimes they're in order, sometimes they're numbered. But we at least have a number for it coming up, tear the diamond. Anyways. Dietrich, let's do this one for the last of this pack here. All right, guys. I'm gonna flip this puppy over and see what we get. Oops, just a parallel numbered Syndergaard 250. I think this one is just called. It's not indigo. I think this is just a straight blue. Yes, this is blue. The Magician Syndergaard for the Mets. It's a nice card for sure. Is that the one I'd seen? Must have been. I wonder how I've seen this one. Nice card. Uh, we got up there. Ah, uh, you're getting a lot of those. Yeah, I actually stay away from the football because I just don't watch it. So for me, it's like I only do the stuff that I actually uh, watch or interested in. Just never got into basketball. I guess because Pittsburgh don't have a basketball team. But I do like to leave root against LeBron James every year. Oh, they gave us a no name in this box, too. That's pretty good. Washington, Trey Turner. There we go. They gave us two nice cards in this one. All right. Let's check the bazooka bags here. Hopefully there is one. Sometimes when they give you two hits like that, they give you a bazooka. It's crazy. Nope. Not this time. I love bazooka bats. Make sure there's none on the rookies. Nope. All right. Silvers. There's a puck. Silver auto for Oakland. Judge. There you go. Eshelman for Baltimore. Oh, and the next one's a Seattle. Austin Nola. Seattle Silver. Nice cards. Now, Mike, you know, I, I just got into it, too, but six months ago. Now I have, like, a whole eBay store and I do shit four to six breaks a week. Somebody I knew was doing breaks on Facebook and just, like, doing it. It seemed interesting, man. I was getting in his breaks and just got addicted to it. And I was like, I'm going to do my own breaks. So here I am. Breaking boxes. So what happens is I end up with a bunch of extra cards because either people don't pay or the teams don't sell. So I try to list them. I end up with I have a, literally a whole thing of five drawers sitting next to me or left of me here of cards that didn't sell that I have to list on eBay. Like there's all kind of autos in there, everything that you know nobody won or they didn't pay or whatever. It's just like so time consuming. You know what I do, Mike? When I get into breaks, I, 
Actually, like I was addicted to it. I felt like I needed to go to break breaks anonymous, but I was doing at least one a day. It, it gets expensive. But uh my advice to people who are getting in breaks is I look to see how much the cards are selling for the actual card. So say there's an example is like the 2019 Bowman's Best. So every moment, you know, one at Tampa Bay for Wanda Franco and uh you know, Toronto for Vlad, Tatis for San Diego, you know, teams, they would go for $100 sometimes in them breaks. So what I would do is I'd look and see how much, ooh, ooh, guys, we got a nice fortune total this time. It fell up, but it should be numbered. Anyway, so all them big teams, what I do is I go through and I'll, I literally, my notebook, I'll do it in a spreadsheet. See how much you're selling for to see what kind of card I'm going to get. Like, what's the best hit I can get? And say, example, it's the 2019 Bowman's Best that I put a lot of money into. Is the Philadelphia Phillies were the best card. So, the best team. Because you know why? They would go for $10, and you can get a Bryce Harper Auto. And a base price upper auto, not even numbered, sold. I've got one, sells for 175 bucks. So it's like these, and then so in comparison, Toronto, uh, Pod, you know, the Padres, who else did I say? Tampa Bay, they would go for 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars. And then your best hit, they were going for similar price. So it's like, why wouldn't I get my Philly? So that's the kind of stuff I do. Like I'll, I'll look to see what's the best hit I can get compared to, and I would literally do the percentage of the hit compared to what I'm going to pay to even get in there to try to get that. And don't get me wrong, you don't. Sometimes you just don't end up with good cards. But like I have a lot of because Bryce Harper is in Gypsy Queen, and I did get into a lot of. 2020 Chipsy Queen for Phillies because they went cheap for like 10 bucks, but I never did end up with a very sharper auto, so it doesn't always work out. But it's better than spending all kind of money on a different team, and then it sells for the same as a brace herper would if you got it because it's all luck, just really is. Anyways, Bueller, after I rambled on about my. Oh, there's a brown Oakland. Yeah, you know what? Also, the trying to do is advice I can give the people also is don't don't get into breaks when the product first comes out. There we go. Nice short print of oh, Ricky Henderson for Oakland. It's another one for Oakland. Nice short print. This might be the first time I got them. Well, that's what I was saying, Mike. I, I literally have this whole thing that's don't, they're not all necessarily worth money. And then I got to sort through them and then, um, you know, find, literally do research. Because a lot of times, like you were talking about that taco, dude, I wouldn't even know he's a good player, you know, because I don't follow basketball. So I'd be typing into, so I'll look through every single card almost, unless it's obvious, but like every rookie and see what they sell for. And then I'd list them, you know, comparatively. Uh, Harvey, and but it's like it's so tiny. All right, what do we got here, guys? We got we got ter our fortune teller. It's blue. Vlad Jr. Check that. Third, the two fifty, two nineteen, the two fifty. Nice. I've never seen one of these. This is the first time I pulled a parallel of the fortune teller out of like I said. I think it's the 13th or 14th. I'm a Denny's. She figured that's what 50, 60, 75 boxes. First time I got one of these. All right. Anyways. Tampa Bay. Arzarena. 
I think that's how you say his name. Oh, there's a base flat. They gave us a base in and the parallel on the same box. Kind of cool. I like it when I do that. What do we got here? Oh, guys. What do we got here? It looks like a bazooka. Some kind of bazooka back. Auto. So, I'm going to put this here. We'll do that at the end of this box. Because we kind of... Look, we got a parallel coming, too. This is a nice... It's basically like a hot box for remit, for monster books. So... Because they gave us a short print Ricky Anderson in this one. Zooch. And then they gave us a parallel of Vlad Collins. Speaking of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper, guys. I don't... Even though... It's amazing that the superstar factor of it. His cards go for a decent amount of money, even now. And he signs a lot still. All right, we got a... Santana, Cleveland, Indigo, number to 250. He is 213 to 250. A little basis here. Check for bazookas. Nope. Check the rookies. No. All right, silvers. Let's put this. Yep, it just moved on me. It's definitely a bazooka. But should be an auto on the other side, I'm hoping. Lopez, Seattle, rookie. Because the bazooka back autos, if that is, the odds are like one out of 1,100, something crazy. It's, it's really long odds to get one of those. There's a McKay for Tampa. All right, guys. I'm, I'm really uh, excited about this. So let's go like this because when I flip it, it'll be face up. And it is an auto. Will Smith for the Dodgers. But what makes it even better. Oh, nice. Number to 25 Bazooka back. Check that out. 16 to 25 Bazooka back. Will Smith for the LA Dodgers. Beautiful card. Is that yours, Mike? You got the Dodgers? Is that yours, Joel, or no? Oh, no, you're just saying nice hit. Yeah, that's beautiful. Bazooka back. And number to 25. Beautiful. Let's put that puppy up here. Ow. Oh, my bad. You're right. I should know that. You've only said it, like, what, three times now, right? Zuka back auto. Oh, Gypsy Queen auto is actually a regular one. It's one on 147 packs. A bazooka back.
saying autograph one out of forty three hundred packs. Wow, it's even longer on than I thought. That's crazy. Oh, I don't know if I said this is on card auto too. By the way, not a BS sticker. That's what I like about Gypsy Queens. Plus, they're nice looking cards. All right, guys. I'm, I don't know how we're going to top that one. But. We will try. Austin Riley. Yeah, Austin Riley. I mean, Austin Riley would go for more, though. Is, it, is he number to 25, though? Brad? Yeah, I'll be honest, I'd, I'd be surprised if that's all it went for, if it was a Austin Riley number to 25. I bet you it goes for more than that if it was number to 25. But the market's been down a little bit lately. I think it's going to go back up a little. Argus fourth bucks. Oh, it is fourteen to fifteen. Wow, two seventy five. Huh? Yelich from Milwaukee. There you go. No, you weren't on. Chris Bryant, Cubbies. There's a gallon, and we got a Lopez for Seattle there. Hernandez for Texas. Long San Fran. Burke for Texas. Diaz for Miami. All right, we got a looks like an indigo. Hampson for Colorado. He is number two forty at two fifty. In to go. Fraley, Seattle, and Lazardio, Oakland. And oh, we got another Vlad. Jeez, that's three Vlad character diamonds, but obviously one is a parallel of those. Chang for Cleveland. Dubon, San Fran. There we go. Short Prince, Johnny. Short Print. Johnny Bench, Cincinnati Reds. Murphy for Oakland.
and Alize for the Cubbies. So with tops, if you look at the number, I don't know if this camera is good enough to do. Let's see if it'll do it. I'm not going to do it. So anyways, in the small print down here. Oh, there it is. It wants to focus on that back picture. All right. There, let me go like that. There we go. That works. So see how the numbers end in 0. Wow, I can't even see this one. Yeah, let's look at this one. 842, it looks like. So you see at the end, of it, it's 842. So tops, they will number their cards differently. And if you look at the Johnny Bench here, it is a different number. It's... Zero seven five, and that's what tops will do. They don't always number their cards. So the Ricky Henderson is the same way. If you look here, see how it's what's it say eight seven five that bottom number. So anyways, but they're legends. I mean, I just know they are. I obviously don't have to look through them again because I know these guys are short prints already. But that's how you know. And tops always does that if they're not. Numbered, obviously. They like to leave it a little more like and make you really look at the cards, I guess. I, I don't know what their reasoning is. So the legends, say like there's a Roberto Clemente, like I have Honus Wagner for the Pirates. Yeah, there you go. 301 to 320. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> yep, said 309, but they're the legend cards. But if you look at the numbers in the bottom, that's how you know. Anyways. Gratterall for the Twins. Yeah, you're right, Aaron. I should have just said it from the get-go and been done with it, huh? Burke for Texas. <laughs> but, like, if anybody... I've done a lot of the Heritage Breaks which are nice too, but there's a Burke rookie for you there. Forget who was asking for Texas silver. Lindor. All right. I think we're going to check these ones. Nothing. All right. Last box, guys. <laughs> I'm just going on and on about it, huh? I think I find this stuff interesting. All right, guys. Hopefully, we get another another hit, a good hit. I hate it when they give you all your hit. I don't like card they give you. The one hit is a indigo number to 250. I always hate that. Unless it's autographed, of course. But. Aaron, you've been in my break before, right? You were going for the Cardinals when I did the blasters for the Gypsies. Then you went to Molina Green. Yeah, you wanted, You were going for the Molina Green at one time, right?
How did you get it? Yeah, I only did those blasters one time. They didn't really sell that well. I think I lost money on them, actually. It's weird with blasters. Sometimes they're a hit, sometimes they're not. How about I did that 2020 Diamond King blaster, 10 bucks, what, two days ago? We got nine hits. When I say hits, they were patch autos, patches, had uh, three autos, and six, there were patches. It was crazy. Of just Cardinals. Hey, you know what? They're one of them teams. I don't have a lot of them because they always sell. And I never click Cardinals because I don't like them. <laughs> Cardinals favorite to win the uh, division? Solak, Texas. There we go. Another short print. That's a short print I like right there. Ken Griffey. So here we go. 318. So that's how you know it's a short. <laughs> Is that better, Aaron? Detroit Rogers. Chris from San Diego. You got that one parallel, didn't you? Hey, you got Santana there, Logan. Man, I, I get what you're saying. You always there's a class rookie for Cleveland, Yelich. Cleveland, I think the only auto you can get is Bobby Bradley. I can't think of another for Gypsy Cleveland. There's an Allen Cleveland again. Jeez. Nola for Philly. This is your first time doing a break? I swear sometimes people say that. I mean, I believe you, but people say that to me a lot. I guess there's a lot of new people doing this. Man, shit, I've only been doing it. I guess it's been... Oh, probably almost eight months now, but I've only been doing breaks for four months, maybe. I'd have to see what my oldest video is at this point. Ars Arena, I think is how you say it, man. Tampa. Oh, there's an indigo. Kyle Schwerber. For the Cowboys. I hate the Cubs. 192 or 250. So Cal Lewis. Another Max Scherzer fortune teller. Oh, no, man. Don't, I don't even bother. I'm with the... I mean, I do look every single time at like my Walmart and the but there's never anything there. I have to buy these. Most of my stuff just literally... I buy stuff off the eBay. Tampa, Brazil, I think is how you say his. I right, so lost the bases. Let's look for the Ah, uh, yeah, there's, let's see, you do breaks because I cannot find any cards anywhere. You don't have a local card shop. I can't find a Walmart. So, you know, the problem I'm having is these sleeves. I went to my local, it's not even my local. I got 40 minutes to get there sometimes. They get, like, sleeves. They're selling out because apparently people are flipping them on eBay. So, like, 
one of these things of you know sleeves they go for ten bucks now instead of five dollars. Somebody comes and buys them all up. I I don't know if the manufacturer is not because of COVID is down or what. All right, our last cards here, silvers. And I'll do a recap. No, you're right, man. You're saying that they sell on eBay. I agree. I, uh... Miami, Duger. Bets. Nunez for Colorado. I'm surprised though. You ever got a Steel City collectibles? They're usually kind of high price, but I got some the boxes I want to do for next week off of there. And they actually were cheaper. So try their website out if you're looking for cards, Steel City collectibles. All right, guys. That was it. So this stack here was silvers. And rookies, I will soft sleep all of them before I sort those out for them to get all beat up. Let's do a recap real quick. All right, yeah, what are you asking for that, Aaron? Max Scherzer, Vlad, Vlad. We have the nice parallel Vlad. Uh, he is number 250. 219 to 250. Meadows and another shirt. Is that three shirts or two? Two. Three Vlad's though. Wow. It's crazy. All right. Wow, Aaron. Nunez. Nunez, Colorado. Duger. Burke, Gratterall, McKay, Lopez, nice Nola there, Eselman, Puck, Allen, you got that one too there, uh, was that Logan, who was saying they went to Cleveland? Alright, Terry the Diamond, and Nola, Yelich, Bryant, another Yelich, Harper, Bueller, Marte, Devers, Bergman, and Bryant. All right, we got two no names. Trey Turner. Then we have the Sean Murphy. Forgot who he was. See that? No name. I didn't even know who he was. He's a rookie, though. It's a nice card. Uh, our short prints. Which are number between 301 and 320. Anyways, Ken Griffey, nice card there. Henderson, well, goes to Oakland, of course. And Bench, Cincinnati. We got three Indigos. We got the Chicago Cubs, or Schwarzer. Sure, or not Scherzer. Sherber. Sherber? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. 192 at 250. Hampson, Colorado. 240 at 250. And Santana for Cleveland. He is 213 at 250. And we did have a Syndergaard. 129 at 250, which is still considered the indigo color, I'm pretty sure. So, because 250, I would think, would be indigo. It's the other way. I like he's. I like it when they're colored. And definitely, obviously, the hit of the break. Will Smith, auto, on card auto, to the Dodgers. Bazooka back, numbered 16 of 25. It's a beautiful card right there. All right, guys, I don't have anything going off tomorrow, but Saturday, I think I've got 2018 playoffs. Uh, Sunday, I think I got the 2020 Mega Box Mojos. Uh, Monday, I, I, I should have this stuff written about it. 
I got something going off every night except for tomorrow. So check them out if you want to save on shipping. If you get in one of the, you let me know you're getting one of those breaks, I'll hold on to your cards and then I will take the shipping off for you. No problem, Brad. Hey, uh, so I don't know if I explained it well, but anyways, if you're getting another break, if you want to get in any of the other breaks, just let me know and I won't send your cards out and save you on shipping. Just let me know on the invoice. But like, I got cards the other day and I'll combine the shipping for you. All right, guys. Thanks for bidding. Have a good night. Stay safe out there.